Hey guys, welcome to Cole's Tech Matters. In this video, we will be looking at a Dell Latitude D600. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the laptop. So I got it for Christmas, secondhand from eBay from my parents. So thanks guys. Um, and I also got a few other things. I got a TTL to RS-232 converter, and I got some modem stuff and telephone stuff. I got an Apple Airport Extreme base station down there, and yeah, a few other things like a barcode scanner and things like that. So yeah, let's have a look at the laptop. Okay, let's open up the lid. And here it is. Now it doesn't hold a charge, so I'm just gonna run it off wall power. Let's power it on. So the Dell Latitude on. Loading up. F2. Let's press that, preparing to enter setup. Um on the setup now F2 the computer doesn't have a CMOS battery in it so that well, well yeah that means it doesn't it can't hold the time and date and uh, look it, think, it thinks it's the 15th of December 2003 that's awesome uh, well, that was the last uh, thing held, I think, something. So, video memory. So, this is all of the specs. It's running a Pentium at uh, 1.4 gigahertz. And reset the time on the computer's internal clock. The time is kept in a 24-hour format. And any values. Right, so, yeah, this doesn't have a CMOS, so we'll X out that. And we'll run setup utility. There we go, Windows XP. Loading, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to run some setup stuff here because um, it has a fresh copy of Windows XP, at least that's what it said on the listing. Welcome, hey, there it is. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, okay, so I don't have to uh, do any kind of setups. So, <laughs> Windows XP. This is amazing. That hard drive doesn't sound too good. Might have got damaged in shipping, but let's have a look. Oh, what things have we got? Well, let's have a look at a hyper terminal. Okay, let's go down to the start menu. We'll see what we've got. I've never gone on this before, so honestly, I'm not sure what's going on but um <laughs> let's see how do i search stuff this is probably painful for anybody who's already search here we go so that's how we do it <laughs> okay what do i do <laughs> uh search i'm trying to search for applications give me one second guys i'm gonna look it up Okay, so we'll open up Hyper Terminal here. So we'll go to the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, Communications, Hyper Terminal, and then this is the Magnum BBS. Now, I have already got set up the Magnum BBS, which is has a phone number and everything, and I have the telephone line here connected up to my ATA. So this is a voice over IP telephone call that I'm going to have to do. Uh, I also have the 300 bits per second modem. This is from the 1970s modem video, the InMac. And I've got uh, one down there uh, connected up to my modern laptop, uh, which is open in putty. And and then up here, I've got my, my other one, which just has a, a null modem cable going to the back of... It's Windows XP Dell Latitude D600. And so 
And with the 300 one, because it's using serial, I can then just connect it up to my uh, telephone line simulator from the video I did about that phone right there. And just connect it up with the telephone line simulator. And they are connected. As you can see, it says uh, carrier detect and on. Now, first we'll show the, B uh, the Magnum BBS. Now, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, which is really annoying, but so, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the times it does, but it still makes all the all the cool dial-up noises. So here you can see we've got the different modems. So this is the built-in modem right here, but the this modem here, I believe, is on COM1, I think, but that's already set up, so I don't need to set that up and look for it. So... Press, oh, oh yeah, and there's the number. So if you live in the UK, you can dial that number. That's a SIPgate number. So if you have a SIPgate account, which is free, then you can just call that and there will be no charge to the call. And dial. That doesn't sound good. I don't think the uh, I don't think we've got good internet connection right now. I think it's gonna keep trying though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna work. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use the 300 bits per second version. So we'll go start, all programs, accessories, communications, and hyper terminal. And we'll do the 300 bits per second modem and it's online. And running and is connected and that is just the live prompt and look if i type something you can see that the transmit light is flashing which means it's transmitting i'm typing the letter s so it's just going to transmit that and nothing's showing up on there because that's only received stuff so if i go over to my computer which is saving it it literally just says where i've been writing oh, so also, wait, let me go back actually, because now if I type something on here, like, so if I just hit general, I'll just say like, uh, test, test. So, and obviously you can't see it on the screen, but it says test, test. And then I can just write one, two, three. It's test, test. One, two, three, and then it will say one, two, three. So that's the 300 bits per second modem working over serial and that's hyper terminal. And so that's an example of hyper terminal. Now I'm going to show you uh, an application called Chicken Invaders, which is a bit of a weird name, but yeah, look, it's right there. And I have no clue. I think it might be a knockoff of uh, Space Invaders or something. I'm not sure. But let's play it. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, it's loading or something. Chicken invaders. But yeah. Okay, well that went on for about two minutes, but now we've got the game. Get ready, wave one. Oh no, oh no, I have to shoot. How am I gonna do this with one hand? Oh no, I died. What's going? I can't play this with one hand, but yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> that was uh, Chicken Invaders. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's Chicken Invaders. And let's see what other, what other apps we've got. I'm not sure. There's Chicken Invaders. Modem Helper for the modem and stuff. If you can't tell, I'm super into modems and old technology and all sorts. So, but yeah, that was that's uh, a look at my Windows XP Dell Latitude D600. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you look at my next videos, which is probably going to be about the stuff that I also got for Christmas, such as the Airport Extreme. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But yeah, so I hope you like the video. Um, and hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.